Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. We have a disaster save today and boy is it an interesting one. It's been on the back burner for a little while as I've been a little scared to try it out but today is the day we tackle it. If you have a disaster save you want me to do, send it here. If you want to see more from the channel please hit the subscribe button. We are on the road to 10k so any sub would be much appreciated to help out. But on to this one. We are the Nordic Empire. So we started as Sweden. Uh, we're in the Italian League, which is basically non-existent. Everyone has capitulated. It did have Italy in it at some point. The only one we still have going is this Imperial Kwangtung Territory in China, obviously, and Venezuela. So that's all we've got. We do have the South American Entente. Uh, helping us out as in we're not at war with them so they've got the united states so at least we've got that we are against the central powers which has got austria hungary brazil and portugal empire basically china india the soviet union we've then got the union of britain in their own one and then the mutual assistance block with the french commune japanese republic who've gone communist and another italy so it is basically the chunkiest central powers you've ever seen. Um, so yeah, this is going to be quite an interesting one if I do say so myself. Uh, our territory over here of our ally, I don't know even where. Oh, right on the tip. Yeah, they're about to disappear in probably 18 hours, maybe 19 hours. So they're definitely gone. So what are we looking like? We've got a border here in Denmark where the Germans are seriously massing, which isn't brilliant. We've only got planes and forts. Finland is basically being invaded by the Soviets. We're holding on up here, although we have sort of lost Mamansk and all of that area. I assume this is all, yeah, this is all core. So we definitely, is all of it core? Yeah, we, we want all this back. We're definitely going to need that manpower and minimal factories out there we are out of fuel which isn't brilliant and we're not getting any uh can we trade for some no the united states because we haven't got i wonder if it's oh it's because you've not allowed the coast so i reckon if we allow access got a lot of convoys so once this starts i think that'll change and we'll get some oil from the us hopefully so the state of our country we've got a recruitable pop but minus 10 stability yeah we started with sweden so we've got some okay-ish national spirits, that's nice. Let guns fly, which is good. So basically all artillery, anti-tank and stuff is better and armor, less production costs. So that's all good. Everything that doesn't involve men, essentially. So we will be using that. We're on extensive conscription, but we are out of manpower. We've got no more mobilizing. So I think first thing is I'm going to go to service by requirement as we will be needing that manpower to start mobilizing. 60k is not going to get us very far. Uh, the focus tree is fairly well done. You've obviously gone down the F path on that side. Um, most of the industry stuff is done, so that's good. What I think we'll start with is... This crusade against Bolshevism gives us a bonus to the, against the Soviets for a year. And then if we take any of their territories, it will be reset to full 365 days. So if we can take, say, Leningrad within a year, we uh, will improve that bonus. So that's what we're going to aim for. Got a couple of advisors. Ta plus 10 stability, that's good. Minus 15 consumer, that's good. You've got army experience gain, but there's not really one better. Artillery's good. Definitely want to go and get this infantry expert with my next lot of PP. That'll be crucial for us, I think. Research, you're doing heavy tanks, artillery, oil, anti-air, and fuel. Um, yeah, I think, I suppose they're all okay. We haven't got the fuel, so you'll need it. Anti-air is probably... Ah, oh, I'll tell you what, I want mountaineers. So we'll get rid of anti-air for mountaineers, as I'm going to need them for the cold. Production-wise, you're doing flame tanks. We're not doing them. Light, anti-air, we're not doing that. You, well, I haven't got the fuel, so this is pointless. We'll keep the heavy tanks, because I think you've gone quite heavy on them in the divisions, especially here. They're basically going to be mobile forts that we're not moving. They're just going to sit and be forts because we don't have any fuel. So I'll keep fueling them out at the moment. We haven't really got the manpower to do otherwise anyway. So we'll keep trains, we'll keep anti-air. Keep anti-tank. We're going to need our infantry as good as possible. We have got a shitload of equipment, so 
As soon as we get manpower, we are actually looking okay. Right, so these tanks, what have we got? Tanks, some weird divisions, some more weird divisions. So what are these? 20 width, artillery, maintenance, anti -air. Yeah, that's okay. So it's not those, it is these ones, right? So I assume the other one's got the anti-air that you've taken out, probably because of fuel reasons, I would imagine. So these are okay for holding. I will add uh, probably some anti-tank because I think we're going to have tanks at this stage, especially against Germany and the Soviets. We'll just add a bit of anti-tank. They can hold. Uh, the other one's this infantry. So that's exactly the same, just no maintenance. So that's over on the east. So we'll add logistics for the supply they'll need. And what are your tanks like? Um, ah, yeah, org is absolutely terrible. My go-to is 30 plus org minimum, otherwise they just melt away too quickly. So we'll get rid of these anti-airs, we'll get rid of a couple of these heavy tanks, we can probably get a few more divisions, and we'll add motorised. Something like that, nice 34, uh, obviously we lose a bit of soft and hard attack, but we need the org and the health, so that will hold better. So I don't want any trucks so we will change all of that to the heavy tanks they are going to sit on this danish border um we'll just delete these two we're probably going to need the motorized for the division template we just changed and we'll add the other tanks in so we've got 10 heavy tank divisions that are going to sit on that border for us uh we'll get rid of that truck or no we'll convert it to the infantry here where is it that one and we'll get that on the border as well i can't lose this border because it is looking like just forts and planes uh, what we've got five random divisions sort of port guarding then we've got 19 on here on the eastern front four there a truck there we'll just get rid of and another 14 infantry up there so that's fine we'll merge them into a field marshal um, we'll add you to a different one and then we'll get an actual what are you doing falling back by the looks of it okay that's fine and we'll add these stray units to um, something that's a good port guard so what have we got what's this one that's good that'll do 12 width we'll add engineers for entrenchment um and we'll add one more infantry i think or militia uh no we'll go infantry we'll stick with infantry uh, i assume we're going to get naval invaded a hell of a lot in this one so we'll need many of them let's see how many we'll try and get 21 out nice 30 divisions to start off with and um yeah, we're going to need a lot of them, I think. I really don't want to get naval invaded, otherwise it's pretty much game over. So I'll just do the uh, usual um, garrison order rather than individual. We're currently building forts, which I like, especially on this border with Germany in Denmark. So we'll keep that. You've got some trains I don't need right now. I want more forts, definitely. And you're building forts on that line. That's okay. We'll hold there. Good idea. Let's go and build some naval forts as well on all of our ports. I'll get them up to three or four just to help us hold our naval invasions. All right, intelligence is fine. You've got that going. We'll get naval department. You've got a couple of spies and they're in Germany. That's good. Uh, doctrine, you haven't done. We'll do trade in That's fine. You've gone mobile warfare. I get it because of the tanks, but I don't think we're going to get much use out of them. So I'm going to switch to superior firepower for the soft attack. We've got so much artillery. Navy, you've just got a load of cruisers, which is odd. Some subs and then 20 destroyers and 20 subs. Okay, let's split them off and get the destroyers with the other cruisers. And we'll merge all the subs together, although I won't be doing a lot. Now we've started. Let's see if we can get... Yeah, we can get oil from the United States. Five convoys, that's fine. Let's go in... Just see if we can get some through without it getting sunk. I know some of it's going to get sunk, but we do need fuel. Yeah, fuel's ticking in, so that's good. No one seems to be attacking yet, which is also good. So let's entrench, get the forts, start getting the manpower. The longer they hold off, the better I'm going to be. We are getting some convoys sunk, but that's fine. We're still getting a lot of fuel in, so that's absolutely fine. These divisions are almost done. I will, because I haven't got the manpower, put in artillery to 21 width. Less manpower gets the use of the artillery, which we've got loads of. And then also we've got some better soft attack. I know we've got as good health for holding, but I need the manpower for the garrisons, really. Um, I'll do the same with this other unit as well. Uh, I haven't got the XP, but I will do when I get it. 
Ah, oh, some attacking. I mean, it's immediately red. That's really concerning. I thought these would be absolutely fine. I mean, 15 days or so. It's, we, we might have to do a bit of micro um, subbing in and out of troops. I didn't even look what the tanks were, so... Uh, they're okay. What I will add is the easy maintenance just for lower production. I don't really need that much soft attack. Ah, uh, our first naval invasion. Here we go. Great Britain has landed in, so that's fine. We've got some tanks there. We are being attacked by the Germans at the same time. But as long as we can hold the port, we should be fine. Yeah, brilliant. This is this is going to be painful already, I can so tell. This is going to be one of the worst ones I've ever done. So we've got the French and the Soviets have decided to join in. The United Kingdom is... Or not United Kingdom, the Union of Britain are. Right, they haven't taken that port, so we'll crush those two that are surrounded. The Soviets have landed, but they haven't taken the port, so they'll eventually just die off. The Germans are seriously mounting. The French are going to take this port, which is going to be really annoying. I need to hold them off, hopefully. Let's see if we can pin them. All right, Soviets are trying to push. Uh, they've abandoned that, so let's push it and take that port back immediately so they don't get any more troops in. They are really trying to get through, so we keep needing to cycle troops in. We can't let the Soviets break us or the Germans. Oh, give me a shit in break, would you? My God. Right, well, finally, let's get rid of those Soviets, push them out. They're not going to be able to land, so that's fine. We need to get rid of the French as well in there, and we need to really divert some troops into... Norway. Oh my god, now the French are joining in. This is horrendous. I've never known so much naval invasion. I've barely even kicked off yet. Right, let's get these port guards into a general. Get you a field line. They have landed heavily. Hopefully it's mountain, so I should be okay holding until we get some divisions and we'll starve them out. Let's change them over. You're surrounded, so let's quickly knock them out before they can take a port. Oh, give me a shitting rest, my God. Uh, Britain again. Germany's pushed me whack one tile. I can't get rid of the French. Uh, this naval invasion's getting from bad to worse. I mean, we've destroyed this little encirclement, which I suppose is the smallest win against the biggest bloody loss. Uh, I just need to hold until we get more manpower and more troops. It's gone from bad to worse. They are really pushing me. I need to get some troops in. The Soviets have also just decided to jump in here, so thanks for that. We'll knock them out, though. They didn't manage to get port. I mean, this is just more divisions we are knocking out, I suppose, but it's rather annoying. I'm going to get old Ricard Sandler here because I'll get a major country boost, 8%, so attack and defence is good. The Germans are constantly attacking. The French are really starting to annoy me. Stop landing in Denmark. Right, luckily our tanks really crush any troops that are surrounded there. They keep taking this port as well. I don't really have enough port guards because I have to take some to defend Norway. Can we use these tanks now? The Germans are sort of dealt with a little bit. I had to fall back one tile, but I've built enough port forts that it's fine. Hopefully I can use the rest of these uh, tanks to push the French out finally. Oh, we've got the port. We have the port. There goes the French. The tanks are doing bits now. We've got a little bit of fuel for a few more days. I mean, I'm losing into Sweden now as well. So if I'm spinning plates here, half of them have smashed. Let's get our tanks over here and see if we can crush through back to Oslo and surround some troops. They are quite thin, but, you know, we haven't really got any manpower. So tomato, tomato. We might be able to do bits with our tanks here. We are pushing. If we can just surround a few troops, we've got to knock them out because, I must be honest, I'm missing out on so much manpower not having this. We are 140k down at the moment, which isn't brilliant to say the least. The tanks obviously are moving horrendously slow with no supply. Oh, Germany is really starting to push now. My panzers, well, they're not panzers, are they? They're heavy tanks, but clearly have been playing Germany too much. I call them all panzers. Uh, they are really trying to push us out of Denmark, so I really need you to an entrench in and get your org back. Not really doing well in Finland either. I might have to pull out of here soon. They are seriously forced attacking me back. If I can just hold on to enough territory where I can counter in the future, that'll be fine. I mean, this at the moment is definitely my problem. Come on, these tanks. I know I'm going to get the comments like, no org, he doesn't understand organ supply. 
but I need them to punch through for me. Obviously, I haven't got any orb supply. We're in the middle of winter in Sweden slash into Norway now. But we will do it. We're going to push through. I'm going to keep using these, and we will push through. Eee, Finland is sort of on its last legs. We'll do a fullback, hopefully hold these two ports, um, and just turtle in. Yeah, some of these are really getting encircled, aren't they? I might have to... You're already encircled, so that's brilliant. Um... No, is there a point deleting them? No, not really. I need to fall. I mean, they've got no organ equipment. I think Finland is over. Finally, Oslo. Right, our tanks are in Oslo. That's a bit of manpower, which is good, and some supply in a second. So that will be Britain on the defensive a bit. We just need to keep pushing on. If we can just skirt through and take those two ports here in the south, or at least just cut them off from it, this whole big pocket up here will be encircled. We are out of fuel, so basically our tanks are just driving on hopes and dreams. I uh, can't take the ports, but at least the whole troops in the north are surrounded, as long as I can keep this encirclement closed slash open. Uh, we'll let our tanks funnel in and be mobile forts again, just to stop the encirclement from reopening. Uh, surely I've got enough supply to let my tanks take these two ports and at least give us some supply back and then no hope for the British. Right, just some small encirclements then. If we just use our new mountaineers with obviously the cold bonus, we'll um, just some small encirclements, knock out some troops, send this to sleep, this lovely chokehold. Our last few divisions, and that's Britain or the Union of Britain out of... I was going to say Norway, but it's not. Oh, and they've declared on the French Commune. Thank God, because I don't think any of the factions were at war with each other, except everyone at war with us. So I need them to start justifying and going to war with each other to distract them, because at the moment they're just pummeling us into small dust. Right. Country is back looking good. All the naval invasions are done, so we can put all our troops back on um, over to the garrison defensive man and then we will see if we can start pushing back to finland gonna use our mountaineers they look very low on supply in the north so we will just start taking the north see if we can get any ports and a few encirclements move quickly we might be able to take the ports up here in mamansk and get all that land back right let's go then let's see if we can just cut through we've got okay supply at the moment in org so let's just see if we can yeah cut through them beautifully beautifully like uh, Nordic Empire Mountaineers through Dissolved Soviets. Nice little encirclement just about to come off. There's a few divisions there. Austrian Hungary, some Chinese in there. Just finish those off. Take that land there. Let's see if we can quickly rush round here and take these ports. We'll take this no man's land as well on the way. Our Mountaineers should be so much quicker than theirs. So hopefully we'll just pin them and move. And we might be able to grab those supply hubs and ports. Just close this encirclement off. Oh, there was someone in the port. We've got one of them. We've surrounded that one, so we should be able to take that even with no supply. And then we'll push on to the Mansk and hopefully get that one as well. All right, let's move our mountaineers around just to this edge. Let the other troops fall in. And we'll quickly walk into that port as well. Oh, they're sort of pushing back a bit here. I might have to pull out. I think I'm going to have to pull out. I'm not getting supply, and they are mounting a serious defensive battle, offensive counterattack. Going to have to start doing something different. So let's see if we can get a bit of green air. I've got fuel now from America. It's not too bad, convoy raiding. Let's do air to air. I'll just get these on inception, interception just to see if we can stop the uh, bombing going on. So I haven't got enough. We'll lose drop tanks then. I don't really need the range just for interception over our territory, I suppose. Oh, the Soviets. Bloody hell. Get lost, honestly. No matter what I do, they just naval invade, naval invade, naval invade. Luckily, our uh, tanks are lovely at destroying encirclements. Right, I'm going to try our mountaineers. A little naval invasion. If I can take these two ports, these are going to be better in Finland than our other troops. Hopefully, if we're quick enough, we can gain some manpower, grab some of our victory points and cities, and um, sort of take Finland back into our control. A couple of port guards, but that's fine. We've got a few other divisions that just landed, so we'll attack from the sides and take that point as well. 
Right, let's get all of our mountaineers over then, and as quickly as possible, let's push towards... We might be able to get to Leningrad. I mean, that's quite ambitious, but we'll, we'll see. Let's see if we can, you know, pin and move. Right, we're doing okay. Everyone's sort of landing or on their way. Here comes... I'll send the tanks over as well, so at least we should be able to counter any uh, counters themselves. So let's grab as many points. We're getting some manpower again, which is mainly the aim of this. Oh, they are mobilising around us pretty quickly for a counter, so... We've got the tank, so I think we'll be okay. I want Finland back. It belongs to us. And by us, I mean me. Ah, they've counted so hard again. I mean, I've got no supply. I think they're raiding my convoys, which is brilliant. Um, Wow, I've just lost four? Was four or five tanks? My God, we're getting out of here. Oh, they got overrun. That was absolutely catastrophic. This couldn't have gone... Oh, there's more. Oh, no. Yeah, that couldn't have gone any worse if I tried. I basically lost more than half the Panzers. More heavy tanks, sorry. A lot of the Mountaineers. Um, yeah, that was pretty atrocious. Kind of running out of ideas. So, first things, let's get our submarines on the go so let's just raid a few provinces or regions that are ocean or deep ocean just see if we can sink some ships at least some convoys start to see if we can get less naval invasions and maybe be able to cross the north sea into britain maybe so britain is actually the only major in their faction romania is not and they haven't got many troops so i think i'm gonna try and get britain because then i'll get their navy i've just got to be able to get naval supremacy for a slight bit to hop over and i think i'd be able to take them out let's get some naval bombers on the go because that's definitely going to help so we'll get engine fours heavy torpedoes i'll go drop tanks we're going to need the range i think so i'm going to have to make them basically a flying torpedo full of explosive fuel i never learned my lesson so i'm gonna naval invade mamansk again see if we can get some manpower from these provinces hopefully with these mountaineers are better we'll get our tanks in and i should be able to hold this because it'll be a small front line and i'll sort of turtle in a bit rather than the big front line i had before uh, or i'll just get pushed out immediately mm, a couple of ports I've got uh, garrisons. We've taken one, so that's good. So we'll take that province and help with the naval invasions. Got all of the ports now, so that's good. So let's get the rest of the mountaineers in. We'll see if we can grab a few tiles, just push out a little bit. We'll change the front line quickly so it's got a nice solid front line for everyone. And then give ourselves a bit of a breathing room. It is snowy. Oh, if we can push off here, we'll be able to then, you know, encircle everything in this area over here, whatever this is called. And um, just grab all of this free land here and close the front line down. That will look better on the map for a moral victory. Right, that's better. So we'll cart those on over. They are starting to push back, but we are well entrenched and they've got zero supply. Going to see if I can push into this supply hub and do a big uh, encirclement in the north. Without the supply, they definitely won't be able to push me back. So this should end better than the first time we tried to push into here. Oh, if I can just get my Mountaineers into the supply hub, they're not quick enough. Uh, the other troops, the Soviets, are not very quick, but we are not either. Really, we should be with these Mountaineers. A couple more provinces for that supply hub. No, I just can't. I can't get to it. Uh, they are non-stop attacking me again. Now, I don't know what their org is like anymore, their equipment, so that's not great. Change that colour because that's really irritating me. Um, oh, look who's back. It's Britain. Luckily, we've got some naval bombers, so we're going to bomb your convoys this time. Hopefully, if we can sink them, you'll be out of supply. And maybe we'll catch some of the uh, British fleet in, yeah, in this as well. Going to have to take a few of my divisions again, just put them in a general. They have taken a port, but they are losing org and supply, so this shouldn't be too bad. The naval bombers are definitely helping. Yeah, good. Bye, Union of Britain. You have got no supply. This is much better. These naval bombers are coming in clutch. Let's see if we can get more of them. 
Oh, come on. I don't know what to do here. Um, I'm going to move. I mean, can I attack in the north? Are they? I know these aren't mountaineers, but they've got no orgs. So we should be able to push a couple of tiles, surely. We're attacking about 19 million directions. We just pin them in as well. We might be able to push. I'm going to move the mountaineers to the north, I think. And they've got no orc here, so at least I'll be able to take this we should be able to encircle some troops they must be low on um, equipment as well based on their org they keep pinning me in though so i will have to try and get out right mountaineers are in position so let's push in we'll see if we can encircle a few of these push down here something like that and we'll join up these two fronts germany immediately does a cipher and you know tries to stop us but that will not stop us we have absolutely melted them come on one more tile one more yes right some encircled troops, finally. Let's get our mountaineers to the north to cut this off. We don't want them to reopen the encirclement, though. Few divisions there. That's a nice portion. Oh, there's that stupid island there. I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to destroy those units. We'll definitely get these ones here on this side, though. Can I get them on this island? No. Damn. 25 divisions, and I'm not going to be able to push over. That's really irritating. We will close you off though and you know they're trying to push back but the supply must be poor i've built a new hub there so we have got supply now so once they stop attacking i should be able to counter this time company is back in position let's see with our supply now we should be able to punch down here we'll just cut off this whole no i don't want to do that we want to cut along two lines take the river line take the supply hub and cut them off come on a few more tiles no there we go there's one that's going to get immediately open, so we need to move in. But we have pulled off this encirclement, if we can keep it closed. Oh, we have pushed another tile. Yeah, that's fine. I think we're getting enough ground. They're not going to be able to close. So that is one big boy encirclement, and that is definitely a win for Team Kurt and whatever we're called, the Nordic Empire. Let's close this encirclement then. We'll use our mountaineers, and we'll just get them delete that order we'll get a new one like that and then we'll also get the normal army doing it as well so let's get those going more naval invader from britain they really haven't got a lot of troops so i think we are gonna ah oh, they've cost me looking at the bloody encirclement um let me do a new theater and see what the casualty was i'm really annoyed i missed that damn you britain your naval invasion what we got eight thousand no 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 can't be any of these surely sure uh 108 340 184 so half a million troops not bad right let's get our mountains down here i know there's a supply hub down here so let's see if we can nick that off of them and ruin their supply even more we should then be able to put south come on a couple more tiles they are really trying to pin me in. We are now losing um, supply and org, so we need that supply hub. Hopefully, we can keep moving. They are really out of org as well, so it should be fine. Come on, don't let them reinforce. Yes, there we go. That supply hub is ours. Make sure we hold. Yeah, we do have it. Hold on to that. Let that come into action, and then we'll look to... We've got the one there. Push down there and grab this other one. Uh, we are now lacking guns for once. Is a bit annoying, but I've got factories making them. What I've noticed with our air is we actually get green air over the North Sea. I wonder if paratroopers is an option. I'm not sure if I've got the range. Let's go and build some transport planes. I can't increase the range, a bit annoying. Um, I wish they did that in the, uh, the old air update where you can alter them. I wish you could change transport planes. Every game I've played recently is me waiting for winter for these mountaineers to hit back. So we are pushing south again. We'll take the river line there. I don't want to go over that. We might be able to get a little encirclement again. We can pin them in. That should be... Uh, this, no, they got out. Annoying. Never mind. Never mind. There's forts there I could take, but I'd rather sit on the river line. So let's keep pushing south. Oh, I'm kind of out of supply, so let's get rid of the mountaineers from down here. I can't really do anything else with them. I got stuck. We'll see if we can do something in the north of them. Maybe get a couple of encirclements. There's definitely some troops with small org. Operation Britain, I think, is definitely on. They've got literally like 20 divisions now. They just keep wasting them in naval invasions. Um, if we can get there and cap them, that'll be big. We'll get a puppet. We'll get the navy. Uh, we can use their manpower. 
Uh, I think that is definitely key. I can't really do anything here either. Let's get our paratroopers out then and see if we can test the water where we can get. I'm not sure if I've got the range to hit Britain. No, but I can hit the Shetlandars, which is a good staging point. So let's see. I need... What? Why do I need coverage of the bloody East and North Sea? We're not going over that. We're flicking in between air supremacy and not. So I just need to wait for the right time. There we go. Perfect. Away we go. Oh, and there's no one in the Shetland Isles. Well, I suppose they haven't got any troops to garrison anything. So that's good. We're one across. This is the new plan. So let's get the Mountaineers across ready to jump over. And they should make light work of any division in Britain. Especially if we land in Scotland with the mountains. We'll get the tanks over as well just to help out. But this should be okay. And I mean, meanwhile, while we're literally about to invade, they've got 20 odd divisions and they've just naval invaded a few to be destroyed by our tanks. So brilliant, we'll take them. Let's jump on over. Oh, the one port they are guarding. Okay, we need more paras. Let's transfer you over. I don't have enough uh, template space because of the Mountaineers. So let's go for artillery engineer let's get logistics as well rangers we can make these as good as possible four divisions we managed to muster uh china's declaring more people let's see if we can take this port uh what are they up to they've started getting new troops in so we need to do it quickly they are still garrison it but we have jumped behind them so we should be able to push them out Yes, there we go. That is the port is ours. Let's get our Mountaineers across as soon as possible. Mountaineers have landed. We are go. Get them to the front line before we get pushed out again. They are reinforcing a bit of a defensive, but that should be nothing, especially in the mountains. Speed is our key. Speed is our key. The Mountaineers are winning all. Britain is not standing a chance. This is ours. Come on, a couple of encirclements there. For as long as we keep pushing. We are out of Scotland now, so... We're into hills, not mountains, so they're not as effective, but we're still okay. Come on. Encircled them. We'll go past Leeds into Hull, the most depressing journey known to man. Keep going. We just completely outcircled them. We're quicker than them. We are ploughing down to London. Come on. Just take London. I reckon London will do it. Come on. Is that it? Come on, 24. Yes. Oh, Union of Britain. You are done. Some nice artillery as well. A load of equipment and trains. So that is good. Um, French have also got a lot of the war score, which is annoying. So I'm going to try and pop it as much as possible. assume they're going to contest me. So actually, let's take the south, the best regions. Okay, right. We've got majority of it, apart from Newcastle as a puppet. We obviously got a little bit of the Navy as well, but I run out of points. So we've got a fair big puppet. So I think... This is good. We are on good terms. We do need to just, you know, knock out these other two Britons. So we've got the Swedish Protectorate of Britain, Mr. Dar in charge. They've only got a normal focus tree. I wish they stayed with the uh, English focus tree, but never mind. At least that one's a bit OP with the uh, factories they're going to get. We've got a load of destroyers. Oh, these came from that focus where we nicked them off for, uh, America. Uh, but we've got two battleships and 20 destroyers, so... Not bad, not bad. I wish I had more. I suppose Britain's still got their navy as well anyway. This is where we take Finland back. I think with Britain done, if we can get control of Finland again, I'll call that as saved. If we hit Leningrad, I wonder if it will trigger the white peace because we did a focus where we helped Finland out. And supposedly if we take Stalingrad, we get a, a Leningrad, sorry, we get a white peace. Oh, they've got loads of divisions on it. We'll never friggin' know, will we? Um, let's at least take some land. This cuts off a route into them to reinforce Finland. And we might be able to push north and at least claim back our land. Got a bit more manpower back from that, which is good. Yeah, let's take the one next to... No, they've reinforced that. They've got like 20 troops sat in Leningrad, annoyingly. So I need to wait until they move. We've got some other divisions in. Let's get some infantry out. We've got 80,000, so we might be able to get some more troops out. We've gained some manpower. Reinforce this hull, and then I'll move the mountaineers out and naval invade again. Uh, we've got a couple of supply hubs. If we can push north to this other supply hub, we should be okay. We'll then dig in, let them throw themselves against us. We've got another big army in. Our supply isn't great. It is getting convoy raided, though. 
Oh, I wasn't paying attention to Britain. I thought Britain would be able to handle themselves. Luckily, they've given me some of their troops. So let's push this invasion out. This is really shit. Uh, Britain, will you give me... Yeah, you've got 14 divisions. Give me them because you're guarding ports at the moment instead of, you know, dealing with this army that is in your land. My run is about to be screwed by the AI, funny enough. I really thought England could just, you know, defend themselves like they have been doing. But no, they have to go get invaded by bloody France. That's abandoned Project Finland at the moment because we need these mountaineers. I can't lose Britain. That's going to be so key to me. We have stopped the rot a bit and we are holding. We basically hold the north. Um, but I don't think we're going to be able to push back. We've got so many divisions. I know we're not getting exactly much org, but you thought they'd be able to destroy just six divisions. We've got pat tanks. We've got our big boy mountaineers got an army sat here so let's just go for another naval invasion grab hopefully some manpower which we can use to reinforce britain with uh how many times am i going to do this and learn my lesson hopefully we can stand a chance this time but probably not but i'll be honest i just want a bit of manpower and then we'll pull out again really um we really need to deal with england but i've got these troops doing nothing yeah we've got a nice beachhead here i mean we can't push any further so let's stop we are probably going to get naval invaded. We'll try and build some forts quickly and just hold this. If they just throw themselves against us. We've got some manpower back, which is what I wanted. I'm not shocked. I wonder if you will be. Funny enough, my naval invasion didn't work again. I'm just being pushed out. Let's get out of there before we lose any more. I mean, we gained a bit of manpower, so that's always a plus. Uh, and we've done quite a successful evacuation, thanks to the Americans that are giving up their lives. Uh, I'm going to do a naval invasion of... Oh, I've got some troops encircled there as well. But we're going to do a naval invasion to the south. I'm hoping if we take a few ports, they might lose some troops because they won't be able to get the supply in. So I'm taking Dover with our mountaineers. Just take a few tiles, see if we can inch back Britain. Taking London back, so at least Britain should get some more manpower out of that. They are, you know, attacking, but we are holding, so this might be okay. No, forget that. Look at the state of this. Oh, tunnel vision. I've, I've screwed it, haven't I? I've screwed it. I, I don't know who I'm kidding. I've screwed this one big time. Um, what am I going to do about that? What am I going to do about this? It's 1948. I'm going to call it there. I'm going to call it as a fail. I did try. I, would, I might actually try again because I feel like I can do it if you don't wait as long. It was the naval invasions that screwed me in the beginning. And if I had hold on to Britain, I think I'd have been all right. But um, there's like 10 hours I've wasted of my life. So never mind. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will definitely put this one in the description, the link to it. So please give this one a go yourselves. I'd love to know how you get on. I might give it another try. But I do feel like this one is just going to be an... You, I don't think you've ever been able to win this. I think it'll be too much of a slog. But there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit the like button if you did. Comment what else you want to see me. Obviously, hit me up with the disaster saves. Subscribe for more. Anything else I want to pedal, not I can think of. Peace out.